today's video we're going to talk about how we can break the pain cycle using our method. Our method is called the safe pain relief method as you can see here in short SPRM and we developed that at the pain relief foundation. So let's have a look at the next chart and you will see how we structured the method. I will try to zoom in a little for you so you can see it. It starts on top here. So we indicated the start here with the start icon and we always start the cycle or the safe pain relief method by measuring. Like I mentioned in some of the other videos already, it doesn't matter if you do that in this order and you don't have to do all the tools. You can just pick one tool. You can pick two tools. You can do it wherever and whenever you want to. This is the big advantage of our method. I will just briefly go over the tools and these are not all the tools, but these are more on some of the main tools we are using in our method. So let's start by measuring. So measuring, we give you some documents or you can measure it yourself. So it's very easy. We measure your pain from zero to 10. And before you start with some exercise or some training or some tool here, we would ask you to measure your pain level. So this will help you to find out if this tool is right for you, if you are doing it the right way and if you maybe need help with this tool and you will also see the results if this tool is helping you or a combination of some tools maybe. Then we have the verification and trust in here, but this is basically just to ensure or tell yourself again and again, if you know that there is no structural pain, that there is no logic behind the pain. You have to understand that actually the pain is caused by your brain and it's caused by some sensation that is there, but we have to retrain the brain to see the sensation in a different way, in a way that this sensation is normal. Everybody feels this sensation if we, for example, bend down or bend our neck or whatever. And we have to tell our brain from now on, the brain should see this sensation in a very different way because it's just a normal sensation and there is no danger there. So it doesn't have to produce pain. We also teach you how to breathe in the right way. So there is a lot of research out there in the moment, how you can actually breathe and this Breathing is very important to feel safe. A lot of the tools we use are working on the safety. So a lot of these tools will give you a safe feeling. The breathing and all the other methods will bring you into a state or teach your brain and your body that you are safe. And as soon you feel safe, as soon your brain and your emotions, everything feels safe, you are ready to work on the deeper levels of the pain. The scanning method, semantic tracking, that means that you are focusing either on the emotion or on the pain. And we will give you the tools and the knowledge to dig a little deeper and just sit with the pain. Like I mentioned in one of our other videos that we don't want you to have another task that you have to worry about. We just want you to observe the emotions, if it's an emotion, or also the pain, or the pain and the emotion, because most of the time it is both. Then we have touch. Touch, we have TFT touching. This is just a method where you can touch on your fingers or tap on your fingers, and the pain will actually reduce. We also use something like the havening technique, which you see here in the defined as feel. The havening technique is a technique where you can stroke down your arms and also in your face. These are all things or methods that make us feel safe. And especially the havening technique is used to produce massive amounts of delta waves in our brain. And these delta waves actually help us very much to bring down anxiety and also make us feel very safe. Then we have a tool that helps you to energize and you don't have to do all of the tools. And if you don't want to do 
one of the tools, this is totally fine. It's all up to you what tool you use and what works best for you basically. The energizing tool will just be something that I develop myself where you are able to get some energy from the ground or basically from the earth and also get some energy from above. And this energy you will learn to cycle in your body so you always have energy and you can resolve the bad energy and always take in some good energy. The sitting with the pain is very similar to the scanning. You can do that separately. So for some people it's very hard to get to a stage where they can actually work with the emotion or with the pain. So we have separate processes but if you're already more advanced we do the scanning and the sitting with the pain in the same tool. But if it's easier for you to break it up in smaller steps, we can also do that. There is no rules about that. The main thing, the most important thing for us is that you feel safe, that you feel understood and that you get the tools that you need for making process. We also use more advanced tools like the future pacing and future pacing would be something like we help you to imagine how good it will feel actually if you don't feel this pain anymore. We help you to imagine what you could do finally would be able to do with your loved ones, with your friends and how good that will feel. And by doing that step by step you will see that this can help you enormously. Seeing yourself in a much better future can help you to recover much faster and also help you to change the neural pathway in your brain. Then we can also talk with the pain that may sound strange for some of the people but if we look at it in detail the pain is there to tell us something and we just try to understand the pain and we can even discuss with the, with the pain or negotiate why the pain doesn't want to go. Often the pain thinks that he has got a purpose and we talked about the purpose of the pain in some of the last videos but we can find out what the pain thinks the purpose is and why he resists to go and this can actually produce very good results. One of my favorite tools is in the pain regulations we can give you three or four tools that can help you to regulate or minimize your pain if you have pain. This is done by something called anchoring. This is best done with one of our therapists because he can help you to get into a state where you were relaxed much earlier and then we can anchor this good emotion. You can anchor that by for example pressing two fingers together or you can anchor it in any other way. And all the time you want to reduce your pain. It can even be in a public situation, at work, or wherever you are. You will be able to use this anchor again. For example, press the finger together and you will immediately feel that your pain drops down. Because we anchored this positive relaxed feeling, this painless feeling before and we can recall it by pressing the fingers together. It's like pressing a button. This is very powerful. This is one of my favorite tools because you can use it wherever, whenever you want to and nobody will even know that you're using the tool. So more advanced techniques are healing vortex and cell command therapy. If you want to do that yourself, we can give you the scripts and the audio recordings to do that. The healing vortex is just something like you can imagine like some kind of tornado going through your body and actually wiping or taking out everything that should not be there. This is a, also a very powerful technique. There's a lot of studies behind that. And then the cell command therapy. This is a little more aggressive. So this will actually command our cells to restore. This will command our pain to go away. And depending on what relation you have with your pain and depending why the pain may think it should stay there, this can work also very well. Another thing that we do is we do transformations or we will help you to do affirmations and these affirmations are basically future goals and things you want to reach and you will tell yourself already in the now 
that you reached that goal. So it would be something like, I feel wonderful. I feel so energized. I feel so loved. I feel so safe. Something like that. You should never do it the other way around. You should never say or do an affirmation like, I don't feel any pain. Because the not is not seen by the brain, right? It's like, don't think about a blue dog. So I'm quite sure that you try, or your brain now tried to come up with the picture of a blue dog, right? So you never should do it in that way. But we will show you all of that. And at the end, let's say you did two tools out of this cycle I showed you, we would recommend to measure again. And we recommend that because like I said in the beginning, then you are able actually to find the tools that work best for you and work best for you in any situation. So the results for a lot of people, this is helping to reduce pain dramatically. And we also have a lot of people that don't have any pain anymore. We also include tools from, the, from a therapy that's called pain reprocessing therapy which has done many public studies till now. So there's the Boulder back pain study where they used some similar tools and some tools we use as well. And we use the tools as well. We are certified in the therapy as well. And they had very, very good results. And even a lot of the people after one year have still be pain free. This was a short overview of the safe pain relief method. In the next video, I will go into every tool in detail and show you how you can use the tools yourself. If you need any help, if you want to reach out to us, please visit painrelief.foundation to see how we can help you. Just contact us and I hope you like the video. Leave a like, subscribe to our channel if you watch that on YouTube and I wish you all the best. I see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.